guys, it's Yazzie Carter back with another video. So in today's video, as you can by the title, I am going to be doing my hygiene products collection. So I have quite a bit of stuff. I bought them on pretty much every day. <laughs> it's a bad habit, but I don't really care because I love it. <laughs> I don't have a lot because obviously I use the stuff, but I mean, it's a collection. I have quite a bit, so might as well show you guys. So before we get started in the video, if you're new to my channel, welcome make sure you um subscribe and turn on post notifications if you want to see more videos like this because i would definitely be doing these videos like hygiene related videos quite often on my channel because i know that my subscribers love them and if that's videos that you guys also want to see then i can do more of those comment down below any recommendations and specifics that you have and i will do those so by the way um if you're also subscribing to my channel my channel is like girly beauty related videos and yeah so they're like makeup, hair, nails, haul, fashion, try on hauls, and um, hygiene videos. Like girly theme type of channel. So if you think you'll like that, make sure you subscribe as well. So let's get started because I'm doing too much talking. So we're going to start with like the tools first. So of course I have a rag and of course I have a loofah. But I forgot to bring those. So yeah. <laughs> I prefer to use a rag rather than a loofah because a rag you can wash and a loofah it just collects bacteria and you have to get rid of it. But I do have one, but I don't really use it. I have exfoliating gloves. I have two pairs and I do change these often. I just bought them so I'll probably change them. I don't know. I'll have to look up how often you're supposed to change them. I would assume like maybe every two weeks. I don't know. I mean, they smell really good. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. But I do have these. And I also have a back brush. Um, I got this from Dollar Tree. If you didn't watch my underrated Dollar Tree products, you need a video. Make sure you go watch that because that video is amazing. So, I got this, but it's like really harsh on my back, so like the bristles feels like you can scrub the bathtub, you know, like when you're cleaning the bathtub, it feels like that's what it's for. So, I'm going to take this back, well, I'm not going to take it back. What an idiot. I'm going to um, probably throw this away and get something softer because this hurts. And I can really kind of reach my back, I just have to do it from different angles. So, yeah gonna get something else besides that but yeah let's go on to the body washes which is kind of not necessarily a first step but for me personally it's the second step of my hygiene routine so first I have this Dove limited edition summer care body wash and it smells like a really good like I don't know it's kind of like a fresh scent but it has like a really slight smell something else maybe like maybe mango i don't know it smells really good you'd think they call it mango though if it was mango but it smells really good then i have the dove relaxing care shea butter and vanilla this i love this i use this so often but yeah then i have soft soap peppermint frost body wash i bought this but i never use it i literally never use this it's just a part of my collection literally and then this is not bath soap but i don't have any other bubble bath so just this lavender bubble bath from equate then i have soft soap juicy pomegranate and mango this literally smells so good i'm trying to find a perfume to go with it but it literally smells so good then we have Body Ecology Sweet Apple Cider. This also smells really good. This is like probably a fall scent for me because apple cider just reminds you of fall. So fall scent for me. I just got it for Christmas. If you didn't watch my Christmas haul, make sure you go check that out. Then I also got Pink Vanilla Wish. I love anything vanilla. This isn't strong vanilla. It has like another scent with it, but it just smells really good. Then I have um, April Bath and Shower Vanilla Brown Sugar Body Wash. This is from Dollar Tree, but trust me, it smells really good to be only a dollar. It smells really good. So it is definitely worth a dollar. The consistency might not be there fully, but it's really good smell. So you can mix it with another one. Then I have Caress Shea Butter and Brown Sugar Exfoliating Body Wash. These are really good. I love the smell. Then I have Caress Passionate Bell Body Wash. 
I love Caress Body Wash, but I only can use Dove Bar Soap. Like I tried their um, bar soap and it just don't hit. It don't. I like the feeling Dove Soap leaves. I don't know, but it doesn't dry my skin, so I like that. Next, I have ODX Coconut Coffee Scrub and Wash. I've been trying to get the lotion of this, but the store is always out of stock, so I'm probably just going to have to order it off of Amazon or something. But this smells really good. It does smell like coffee, which a lot of people don't like, but I personally like it because it smells sweet, like kind of like vanilla. So definitely like a winter scent for me but i also sprinkle some vanilla in vanilla is my signature scent personally because it's just my favorite but i feel like i wear it more in the winter summer i do kind of florally with kind of fruit scent i don't know i have a weird setup for it but yeah <laughs> next we're going to go into the bar soaps which is the first routine and hygiene routine because bar soap is in body wash and then you get out lotion perfume well actually we have another step but we'll get to that in a minute so this is another tool i forgot to show you guys it is a soap holder it'll just keep your soap from wearing down while you're not using it so and also getting bacteria on it i got that i got caress shea butter and brown sugar soap which i am going to try this i did not try this one of course i tried the pink one i don't know what it is but i will try this and see how i like it i'll let you guys know if you guys want to know then i got the dove original scent which i don't really use scented bar soap because whatever my body wash needs to do it'll give me the scent and then the perfume lotion will also give me the scent so i just use plain body wash I don't know if that was important for you guys to know, but you know. <laughs> um, I typically get the sensitive skin one, but it doesn't really matter because my skin is really not that sensitive, to be honest. I just get that one because I'm using such a strong scent to body wash, typically, that, you know, some scents do mess with people's skin, so you never know. I just got that one to be safe, but I've been doing fine with the original um, bar soap. Now we're going to do the body scrubs, which I typically do before, um, before body wash. I don't know the exact order you're supposed to do it in, but that is just the order that I do it in. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it makes my body wash smell last, like when I'm out of the shower, instead of washing it off. But I don't know. If I'm not doing it in the wrong, right order, let me know. But I honestly feel like there's no right order to do it in. But we're gonna do the body scrubs. I got Dove and Crush Macadamia and Rice Milk. I got this from my cousin Tay for Christmas. Um, she might be watching this if you are. <laughs> That was weird, but thank you very much for this. I haven't used it yet, but it smells really good. This will go good with like a vanilla scent. Like something sweet because it smells kind of sweet though. Then I have Tree Hut Bo Bohemian. Bohemian Escape Shea Sugar Scrub. This smells really good. It's kind of like a fruity scent, so I, I use this when I have like a fruity scented scent like i choose my scent every day i don't really have a signature scent to be honest but if i would say one that was my signature scent that i wear the most often and be vanilla or something sweet like the coffee one then i got moroccan rose then i got vitamin c this one doesn't have a super strong scent so it's one that you can really use with anything and I need like a sweet scented one like vanilla or something but they're always out of stock where I live so I'm gonna have to go probably honestly I should check the store that's like in a different city but it's like 15 maybe 20 minutes away I don't know probably about 15 minutes it's not that far and they will probably have it because their stores are way better than here but yeah but um I also got this from my cousin Tay and I have not used this one yet either but I really want to try it it's the the onyx bathhouse foaming body scrub I've never heard of these but they look so and smell really good like Tay if you're watching this let me know where you got these from because they smell really good and I want to try more I don't know the scent I don't know if it has a scent but it says mer mermaid gold on it but it smells really good then we're going to go to perfume because that's kind of when you get it actually lotions the next step 
I don't have that many lotions because, oh, one lotion that I'm missing that I use sometimes is baby lotion. But this one also kind of has a baby lotion smell, so. It's the Dove Nourishing Secrets, oh, Secrets? Secrets Glowing Ritual Body Lotion. My grandma got this for me, like, a couple months ago. <laughs> it smells really good. And I didn't even know Dove made lotion. I must have been hiding under a rock because I didn't know they made lotion. But I like it. I love it, actually. Then I got April Bath and Showers Touch of Lotion love body lotion this is from dollar tree and this is my favorite lotion it smells so good and it works it's like a thick lotion i like thicker lotions because i feel like they just moisturize better then i got vaseline cocoa radiant this is my favorite like vanilla scented or sweet scented lotion no lotion compares to this lotion so yeah it is a little more on the medium inside like it's not high end but it is a decent price it's like six dollars some of my lotions be like three two three dollars but to be honest i don't really care as long as it works good like i use a mix of cheap stuff medium and stuff i don't really have high end stuff because i'm scared to try it because if it ain't worth the money i'm gonna be mad because i wasted my money more than anything so now we have all the perfumes i have the biggest collection of perfumes than anything i think so let's get started so the first one is sweet pea by bath and body works and i'm about out of this this smells so good and then i have these are in random order mysterious moonlight i want to say i got this from five and below i can't exactly remember but my grandma bought it for me this thing does not go on it and all i know is that we went to five and below that day so i'm thinking it's five and below is where i got it from but i can't promise and i don't know the brand either because i don't say shoot, shoot, shoot. Wardrobe stuff. Then I got April Bath and Showers Vanilla and Cinnamon. By the way, I call all this stuff perfume. I know what perfume is and I know the difference, but I call it all perfume. I don't care if it's a body spray, body mist, whatever. I call it all perfume. Just to let you know. But this one smells pretty much like the body wash. Then I got Cotton Candy by Body Fantasies. This smells really sweet and really good. I love the cotton candy smell. Then I got Body College E Coconut Hibiscus. This. I do not ever like coconut anything. But this changed my mind, literally. It smells really good. This is the one that the most complimented. So... You should get it, you should try it. I love the smell. Then I got Bath and Beauty Pure Attraction. That's a friend Dollar Tree as well. It smells like florally and sweets. It's really good. Then I got Bodycology Sweet Apple Cider. This goes along with the body wash. It smells really good. Then I got another one. Bodycology Pink Vanilla Wish. I almost use this. This one also, my friend really likes this one. And I got it for her for Christmas. I was going to get her a big one. But at the time, that was out of stock of the big one. So I had to get a small one. But yeah, it's fine. <laughs> but she really likes this one. And I really like this one. I need to help. So... Yeah. Then I got Chai Latte by Body Fantasies. It smells like coffee. You know, it goes great with the coffee body wash. Or vanilla. I really like it with vanilla too. I got this one, Watermark Beauty Sweetheart. It's almost gone. I don't even know. I haven't used this in a while. It smells sweet. I don't know. I don't really use... I have like my signature perfumes that I use and I don't really use any other ones. It's crazy. But I have um, Tied Up Goddess and it's an impression of Victoria's Secret's love spell. I got this like a while ago. Do perfumes and stuff expire? I hope not <laughs> because I've had some of these for a long time. But it's cool. Then I have Pink Vanilla Kiss by... Body Fantasies and my package is almost here. I'm so excited. I ordered a lot of stuff on Amazon and it's like four stops away and I'm really excited. Next is Body Fantasy Sweet Sunrise. That is also the last one. 
so if you guys enjoyed this hygiene collection comment down below and let me know i love hygiene products um of course i have deodorant and i have body oil but it's just equate cocoa radiant body oil nothing special i mean it is part of the collection but yeah and then i just only have one deodorant so i just didn't think that it was special enough to add but like i said if you enjoyed this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe turn your post notifications and also comment down below more videos you guys would like to see and i'll see you guys the next time i post new videos every thursday and sunday